Thank you, Major, very much. Appreciate you so much for being here every, every month for us. We're going to recognize uh, District 9 tonight for invocation uh, as well as our pledge. All right. They've asked me to uh, lead the prayer tonight, so thank you, gentlemen, for that honor. Would you bow with me tonight? Father God, thank you. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you that we live in this free country where we can come together tonight and meet together, fellowship, and make decisions for the awesome people of this county. Lord, thank you for the hearts of these folks who are serving tonight, and I pray your blessings on them. Lord, one of the folks tonight who serve with us or is, is walking through some, some tough times. And Lord, I know that you already know that and you're with them. Lord, we pray for Commissioner uh, Wilson's dad tonight. Lord, I, I thank you that your hand is on uh, Brother Wendell and uh, his, his precious wife, Miss Jean. And Lord, I'm just going to thank you that you're wrapping your arms around them and letting them know in a very special way that you're there with them to, uh, to, that, to that end. If that's, uh, if that's your will in their lives. And we thank you for it, Lord Jesus, for always being there. Now, Lord, we're just going to thank you. and th You're protecting all the folks who are in harm's way in any way, whether military or law enforcement or any of the folks who day to day watch over us and help us and protect us. And we give you thanks and we call a Psalms 91 protection over them and all of us and our precious families. Lord, you're faithful. And we are grateful in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, are you ready to call the roll? Yes, sir. All right, if you'll take your handsets tonight and press yes for me, and it will stop you right there. Everybody, please press yes for me. Oh, I need Mr. Christopher's Mr. Chairman, we have 21 present, three absent. Did you have a quorum? Thank you, Mr. Neighbors. Move along, approval of the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion and a second on the agenda. Any discussion concerning the agenda? Over the motion, say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Item six, approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion and second on the minutes. Is there any discussion concerning that? Favor that motion. Say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item number seven is unfinished business. Report of standing committees. Planning. No unfinished business. Thank you, Madam Chair. Physical review. No unfinished business. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And nominating. No unfinished business. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Report of special committees. Any reports? Other unfinished business, we're going to hear from the county attorney regarding proposed changes to the Second Amendment resolution. Mr. Jones, please. As part of your uh, packet is a proposed resolution uh, based on, uh, as you recall at the last meeting, 
when the motion to amend from Commissioner Adams was made, I had asked at the end of it, both Commissioner Adams and Commissioner Williams, what, uh, what it was that the intent of the commission was. And so what you have before you is what I, I, I presumed that it was. So I'm not sure what else to say other than that. All right, let me, let me bring us up to speed on where we are last month. If you remember correctly, uh, Jordan presented a, uh, uh, a resolution motion. Uh, it had an amendment to it, and the amendment was that, uh, uh, that uh, Jeff Jones would word the amendment. You have that before you. We also voted and added the amendment last month to the original motion, and we got to the point that we had to approve the motion as amended. That we, at that point, delayed it for 30 days. Commissioner uh, Williams uh, made the motion, and we did so. So we have before us now where we are is voting on the motion as amended, and the amendment is what uh, Jeff Jones has presented to you. Is everybody clear on what we'll be voting on? If not, look at me confused or raise your hand, whatever the case may be. Mr. Owasa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I want to take a second, Mr. Jones, and compliment you on the wording of this amendment because I had, uh, upon reading it, I believe it protects the spirit of what the resolution attempted to solve there. And uh, I think both sides of, 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 the, of the debate, I guess you could say, or the, of the uh, issue, I think we've both come to good terms on that. So I definitely want to compliment you on the wording, and I think it's definitely an amendment and a resolution worth supporting. Thank you, sir. Anybody else have a comment or a question? We are going to take a vote. Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Quarter reports. Road, schools, general fund, debt service, solid waste, recreation, self-insurance. Randy Porter, County Mayor, you have anything to say about the quarterlies, uh, Mayor? Does anybody have any questions about the quarterlies? You stand notified then of the quarterly reports. Item 9 is new business. A report of the standing committees which planning, please. Thank you. Uh, first up tonight is to consider a recommendation from the Road Committee regarding Pine Valley Road, and I so move. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? In favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item B, recommend the approval of the parking ordinance resolutions for county-owned or controlled par parking lots, and I so move. Second. second. Motion and a second. Mr. Williams. Yes. Caught a little detail here, and forgive me for uh, being too much of a, lerd, a nerd or thinking like a lawyer here. But uh, Section 15-604, Administration and Enforcement, um, it says the provisions of this ordinance shall be administered and enforced by the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but that I, I'm going to suggest an amendment that we add or other local law enforcement agency as appropriate, because this current this current parking lot happens to reside has to, happens to be within the city limits of Cookville. This, this is going to be kind of a blanket ordinance that may cover any future county parking lots. I think it's important that uh, the other law enforcement agencies uh, should be authorized to take enforcement action as needed on these public par parking lots. So I'd like to offer that amendment. Second. We've got a motion of second before I move to discussion. I'd like to ask the mayor and the sheriff both their feelings toward uh, the amendment. Just for information-wise, guys. Attorney Jones together, uh, I respectfully uh, request and ask that, that we only want to have access to enforce that. Um, we know our needs. We know who's going to be coming and going in the parking lot. There's going to be a lot of time other law enforcement has no idea of what we've got, what we're doing, and for somebody just to drive by and start enforcing the parking lot is probably not how we set that up. So uh, I, I appreciate your thoughts, but for us, it would be better at this time if, if the sheriff's office enforced it. And, and do I still have the floor? You do. Okay. Uh, and and I, I certainly uh, agree with that sentiment there. I guess that we need to restrict this ordinance to simply those two parking lots. If we do that, then I have no, no issue whatsoever. But if this is to cover any future parking lots, yes. then we need to broaden it out. 
Yeah, and I agree with that. If we start extending and making it countywide parking lot, then uh, yeah, I agree. It's going to be too much for us to enforce. But just right there, especially uh, at the new Justice Center, uh, the new addition, jail addition of Justice Center, it would be better. There's going to be lots of times that we have to make adjustments, uh, whatever the situation may be. So we will be aware of those things. So it would be much easier if we just did the enforcement. So, and, and forgive me, I haven't read every word of this ordinance, but is this then just restricted to the to the two? No, it's it, any future parking lots owned by the county right. could be added, but they've got to be owned by the county and it has to be me and the sheriff agreeing that we've got an issue with the parking lot to add it. So, I, I'm going to agree with the sheriff. I think we're better keeping the county, controlling the county and, parking lot. Yeah. And the way that it's drafted right now is, and I know that I know that the county mayor and the sheriff are going to collaborate on what parking lots need to be designated, but it's got to be designated by the county mayor. And I think that to keep our ordinance where it will work in the future, to restrict it just to two parking lots might be, be boxing them in a little bit. Right. Well, that, that kind of goes, that's kind of the conundrum we find ourselves in. Because if, if this is going to be broadened to include future parking lots, then we need to write the ordinance correctly to accommodate that for the future. But if it's just going to be these two, then, then we need to specify that in the ordinance. Well, I think what you're doing is you're leaving that up to the county mayor to designate that. And that's why he's telling, yeah, I mean, that, that's basically the way it's written. So if the county were, say, to, were to own parking lots in Baxter or Monterey, under this ordinance, then <coughs> the Baxter or Monterey uh, police departments would have no legal authority to enforce anything there. Is that, is that correct? I think that the intent right now is to, to limit it around the Justice Center. The thing about it is, is in 1994, I don't think anybody could have foreseen the growth that Putnam County has had right. and the need for the parking lots that we've got right now. And it may very well be in 20 years from now that there'll be more parking in that area that's necessary. And that would give the county mayor at that time the ability to designate those parking facilities as being uh, subject to that ordinance. <coughs> If I may, then, uh, are you moving your amendment or your motion forward, or are you rescinding? That's all I need to not, know. Not yet. I'd like to hear a little bit more of what others have to say. I see several comments coming up. Commissioner? Not him. Uh, this thing needs to be able to turn this thing off, because they answered my question already, but you can't click it twice to turn not it off. Not a problem. Commissioner Dunn. Again. Same here. I wish you could click it again in order to request not to speak. Y'all are doing a good Sorry. job. We don't want to hear from you. Anyone else? Mr. Martin. Uh, yeah, since we own it, we're responsible. We, we carry the liability anyway. Is that correct? Anything happens on our parking lot? Yeah. We've got, so it makes sense that we, that we police it. Yeah. Or have to call it because we're liable if anything happens anyway. Yeah, I mean, right. technically it's up to you guys as to what you want to do with this ordinance. I think what you're getting right here is, is from both the county mayor and, and the sheriff that right. they're going to take care of the. It should run together. Yeah. The liability and our protection. Certainly. Mm -hmm. and police. Yeah. Let, let me ask a follow up question, if I may. Um, if, there's a, if there happens to be a crash on that parking lot, who works the crash? City of Cookville or Putnam County? Okay, because it, it, it wasn't all that long ago the city of Cookville used to come over there. It's probably before your time, but... They used to, but when I took over sheriff, we started taking care of the county parking lot. Okay. Well, if we're going to work all the wrecks and, you know, all that, then... I have a motion, and I... I I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and withdraw that. We'll just uh, leave it as it is. All right. Commissioner Rob, who's first? Rogers. Rogers. Uh -huh. I just wanted to ask the mayor and Mr. Jones, in the future, if we acquire more parking lots, can we not add to the ordinance that it can be enforced law enforcement from whatever jurisdiction it is? Can we, is that a simple addition to the ordinance? Yeah, yeah we could. Okay. You just have to remember, if you're wrong, if the, the Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think the purpose of, the, of, of this 
resolution is to uh, just police it. Make sure things don't happen right now unless he said straight in tractor trailers on it. That's the purpose. We don't want people <laughs> accepting uh, or staying there for. Ball teams and different organizations that come down and they, you know, cook Boston buds. They do a lot of things in our parking lots. Uh, we know about that constantly. That's ongoing. Sometimes they have to leave a vehicle overnight. Sometimes they leave a grill. They do other things, and we don't want to get into a situation where some other some other agencies coming over and doing something of that nature. We're, we're not going to have a problem in the parking lot. But we just want to. Okay. Thank you. At this point, we do not have a motion. I'll be happy to let anybody speak that wants to, but our motion was rescinded. So, Mr. Neal, do you? Yeah, the, the, the only thing I want to say, and the sheriff just hit on it, it I know there are situations where you're going to have, in a parking lot, you're going to need to use that parking lot for different things. And if you need to use that thing, and it's kind of a spur of a moment thing, and they call the mayor's office, they shouldn't have to call everybody else in the whole county trying to make sure there's not going to be a problem nor should the mayor or the sheriff's office have to try to go go around and make these calls for them for that so i th i think that i think that the intent is to manage the parking lots and as far as law enforcement goes any sworn officer in the state it it doesn't matter if they're if they're sworn they can take action in a parking lot or on a highway or on a sidewalk and uh that's that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Thank you, Mr. Neal. Seeing no other discussion, uh, Madam Chair, you're back up. Okay. All right. Um, order, 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 Mr. Yes, we have not we didn't voted. Vote. You're exactly right. I'm sorry. We didn't vote on that last time. We did item. not. You're exactly right. So I will call work. for it. Yeah. We're on recommending approval of the parking ordinance. Uh, we do have a motion in a second. Favor the motion, say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, next up is uh, we recommend approval of the Oak Tree Towers resolution and also move. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Favor the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Sorry, Mr. Cassidy. I was just going to say very quickly that obviously since this is where I work, I will be abstaining from yeah, both of these next two motions. Motion, uh, well understood, and the uh, next one as well for both of you, I'm sure. Okay, we have three abstentions on. I still call the motion passed, Madam Chair. All right, and item D, we recommend approval of the Hickory Valley Apartments resolution, and I so move. Second. second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussions? Uh, you've already spoke. Anybody? Any discussion? Oh, sorry. Favor the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. That motion carries. Same, same three that you yep. staying yep. from there as well. All right. That concludes planning. Thank you, Madam Chair. Fiscal review. Item A, Fiscal Review Committee recommends approval of budget amendments to the County General Fund, and I so move. Second. A motion second on County General. Any discussion? Mr. Clerk. Hey, no. Take your time. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take your handsets. If you favor the motion, vote yes. If you do not favor the motion, vote no. Everyone, please vote. All votes are in. Anyone wish to change their vote anywhere? Chairman of 21 voting yes, three absent, motion carries. Thank you, sir. Item B, Fiscal Review Committee recommends approval of budget amendments to the General Purpose School Fund, and I so move. Second. Motion is second on General Purpose School. Any discussion? <coughs> Mr. Clerk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take your hands up. If you favor the motion, vote yes. If you're not favor the motion, vote no. Everyone, please vote. All votes are in. Anyone wish to change their vote anywhere? All right.
Thank you very much. You're doing great. <coughs> Chairman of 21 voting, yes, zero, no, three absent with a roll is called. Motion carries. Item C, Fiscal Review Committee recommends approval of the resolution increasing the bid limit to $25,000, and I so move. Second. Got a motion to second. Any discussion? Favor the motion, say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. That completes fiscal review. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Nominating. Uh, we have nothing in this meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Report special committees. Any reports? Resolutions? No resolution, Mr. Chair. And notaries. All right. Brenda G. Bilbrey, Janie Branch, Lena E. Bryant, J.S. Francis Sr., Debbie Frazier, Annette Goss, Rose M. Hall, Danielle Henderson, Lindsay Holland Norton, Caleb Holloway, Caitlin Jones, Lisa Lissy. Wilco Ilano, Jim McCaleb, Matthew Ma Matthew Meadows, excuse me, Raymond Moyer, Andra Eve Patterson, Gracie Peak, David Robertson, Nancy E. Robertson, Alyssa Cisco, Melissa D. White, and finally Michael B. Wright. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion on notice? Mr. Clerk. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take your hand sets, if you favor the motion, vote yes. If you not favor the motion, vote no. Everyone please vote. All votes are in. Anyone wants to change their vote anywhere? Excellent. Mr. Chairman, you have 23, excuse me, 21 voting yes, three absent, zero no. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Other new business to recognize the reappointment of Larry Rogers to the Double Springs Utility District Board. You have been uh, uh, recognized uh, or you have been notified. How's that? Uh, item number two is approval of the surety bond for Corby King for $100,000 from 222 to uh, uh, 223. Any uh, discussion, questions about that? Do we need a motion for that? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. So moved. Second. Oh, okay. As an expenditure, that's something we need to vote on. I've, and I'm just asking Mr. County Attorney or Mr. Mayor, uh, we are expending some. It's in the budget. Are we having them in the budget or is it already in the budget? So, You're talking about the bond? Okay. We, have to, do the, we have to vote the others. When, when, when regular, when all of ours comes up and we do the listing, it's a motion and second a voice vote to you. At least well, let's just yeah. do it. Won't we just do yeah. it? Yeah. So moved. I've got a motion. Do I have a second? Second. second. Yes. I got a motion second. Any discussion on the bond? Let's vote it in our handsets, Mr. Clark. Please. Uh, okay. All right. Take your handsets. You favor the motion? Vote yes. Do not favor the motion? Vote no. Everyone please vote. Voting on approving Mr. King's bond, the uh, director of schools. Nothing to it. It's already been filed with me. You see my name at the bottom. All right. 23 voting for Mr. Chairman. Tw excuse me, 21 for, three absent, zero no. Motion carries. Thank you very much. All right. Item number eight is announcements and statements. Item number one here from Enbridge regarding an update to the natural gas pipeline notification project throughout Middle Tennessee. Mr. Mayor. Chairman did. What about the insurance committee? Is that on your new no, agenda? Sir. Not on the new new one I got. <laughs> Just ratifying the appointments to the insurance committee. It's on there. Oh, it is. It's under nominating. Well, we moved it from no. nominating to new business because it actually doesn't go on nominating. What, what is your question about the insurance committee? Okay. It, it is, but that's my second item. It doesn't matter. I've but that should have been under new business, not announcements and statements. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, well, it's under announcements. I'm sorry. Let's move on and talk about the uh, the other new business, which is to ratify Randy Porter's reappointment to the insurance committee for two-year terms, expiring May 2024. Chris Cassidy, Tommy Copeland, Ben Rogers. You have been notified that we, have, we don't vote. Yes. We do have to Motion vote. Motion to approve. approve. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion concerning Mr. Porter's reappointments? 
favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries. Sometimes it's the little stuff, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, we are, is it okay if I hear from Enbridge now? Enbridge. Mr. Yes. Very good. Uh, regarding uh, the update on the National Pipeline, so. Uh, just wanted to tell you that that affects only the northern, very northern end of our county. They've been here before. We've had meetings. Uh, Commissioner Dunn and Commissioner Wilson, your districts up along the top of the county are the ones that it will affect. And so they just want to talk to you and kind of give you an update tonight of where they are. And they're going to be holding some public meetings uh, so your constituents will know about it if you'd like to attend any of those meetings. If you don't mind, please uh, tell us your name uh, in the mic so we can have it for our minutes, please. Thank you very kind. Hello, my name is Art Haskins. I am a uh, manager of stakeholder engagement with uh, Enbridge Pipeline. I'm sorry. Yep, I didn't, go ahead. I didn't, let me turn you up a little bit. Right, let okay. me catch your name again, sir. I'm sorry. Yep, Art Haskins. Art? Yep. H-A-S-K-I-N-S? -S? That's correct. Thank you, sir. Uh, locally, we own and operate East Tennessee Natural Gas, uh, interstate gas pipeline that provides gas to many communities, including the city of Cookville and, and others, as well as Middle, Middle Tennessee Natural Gas and, and uh, about 128 different customers across our, our footprint in Tennessee, Virginia, and North Carolina. So we're here to just do a quick update. Our current project that we're uh, proposing is a pipeline that would supply um, one of the replacement options for TVA's fossil fuel plant in Kingston. So they have announced uh, last June that they are looking to retire that plant and they've proposed three different options for replacement. One of them would be a combined cycle natural gas plant in the same location in Roan County. And if they do that, they would need a, a supply of natural gas. Our, our project then would be to build a new natural gas pipeline along our existing East Tennessee natural gas pipeline, a second pipeline in the same corridor, basically following pretty much the exact same route um, from Hartsville uh, in Charlesdale County through eight counties, uh, including the northern part of Putnam County all the way down to Roan County. Um, and we would do that uh, about 2025 the reason for all of this process now is that both uh, the TVA process is part of the NEPA, National Environmental Protection Act process. So it's a draft EIS, a final EIS, public comments, takes a little bit of time. And our pipeline project to support that is part of the FERC, Federal Energy Regulatory, because we're an interstate natural gas. And we have the same type of thing. We would do a draft EIS, a final EIS, and, um, and all of the associated um, federal, state, local permits that, that support that activity. So we are early in this process, even though we're about a year into it. Uh, we are now getting ready to file with the FERC in our pre-file, and that's where we're at. Once we file with them, um, should be this month, it should be finalized. We'll have a, a case number with them, and then we'll start our next round of hearings or our public meetings. So we had landowner meetings last November. Uh, we held one in Monterey uh, for this area. And uh, our proposal is to do the same thing the week of uh, June 20th. Um, the 23rd would be in Monterey again. Uh, and we'll advertise that and invite everybody there. And we're just in informing you guys as, as the leadership in the county that this is the process we're going through. If you hear any questions, there is a landowner hotline that's available. They can call that. It's recorded. It, they keep track of that. It's reported to the FERC as part of our process. And we really are in here for stakeholder engagement. So we do want to hear from the residents, uh, especially the landowners along there, but anybody else that has concerns or questions or discussion about our pipeline process and how we would do this. Um, once everything is approved, like I said, about 2025, we would start construction. Construction would take about a year and uh, start to finish. Uh, and then a little bit more because we'd finish in the, the uh, December time frame or late November. So we'd take into the next spring, obviously, for restoration. Um, I think that's about it for where we're at right now. Um, just uh, wanted to make sure that everybody is well aware of the process and, and be invited to the open house that's available for, for uh, uh, attendance and asking 
getting further questions answered or any questions or concerns you guys may have. Art, if I may, yep. uh, do you have uh, easements in place or do you have to obtain new easements for the new line? Uh, primarily it's done with uh, the easements that exist. We have dual line rights in those areas and so we would put that pipe about 20 to 25 feet away from the existing pipeline in that same 50 foot easement. So the biggest thing we would pay for would be um, the temporary workspace. Uh, the existing 50-foot easement is not large enough to construct a pipeline. We would need to expand that to about 110 feet or so, give it depending on the area. Um, and it would involve uh, potentially some trees or whatever other associated stuff is on that land. And we would uh, deal with that individually with each of the landowners and then the restoration process for that. So did I hear you say you do have to uh, we do have some additional? We do reason? have, right, we do have a couple known reroute areas and primarily that's in Roan County. We don't have the pipeline dropping down to that plant. Uh, and then the, uh, we're still working with the state. Um, we currently cross the Cordell Hall Wildlife Management Area. Our pipe was there first. Now there's a wildlife management area. So there, we're in discussion about whether it's better to reroute around that and then how we cross the, uh, the river in that area. So it's things like that. Same with the ba battlefield of Hartsville, again, many years ago, about 1950, that was not a big issue. It's totally different now. So. Next question for me, and then certainly anybody that has a question, any benefit to Putnam, Putnam County? That's my question. What's that? Any benefit to Putnam County? Um, yeah, uh, there will be. Obviously, we're putting in um, the uh, our pipeline process so we have, we've yet to get the full economic re impact study back from, uh, from the University of Tennessee Baker Center. They're, they're compiling that for us. Um, so there would be the, obviously the construction, so direct and indirect costs. Um, even things like uh, the pipe that we drop into the area, we pay state sales tax on our pipe uh, for this process. So there would be initial benefits on that, but we also are putting brand new pipe in the ground and new associated facilities. So we would end up paying ad valorem tax on that. Um, again, I don't have the estimate numbers, but um, it's a significant increase in the, uh, the pipeline costs in the area and our tax paying because the other pipe is, is quite old and, and past its depreciation point. So. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Any other questions? I think Randy wants to talk. Talk? Has TVA decided to go with the gas? TVA is still in that process. They have not decided yet. If they don't, they can't build then we will not build the pipeline. Any other questions? Yes, Ms. Dunn. So the existing East Tennessee uh, gas pipeline, which comes through near my, where I live, so that will be no longer used once nope, the new one that will in? still be supplying the gas to all the customers along the whole route. Um, that, pre that pipeline will still stay in service and, and supply gas. This new pipeline will be a dedicated pipeline along our existing, it has some interconnects for security and safety and, and uh, helps the existing pipeline as well, but it primarily is designed to serve the gas needs of the TVA plant. But you were saying it was really old and past the point of depreciation. Does that mean it needs to be replaced? Or? No, oh. the, pipeline is, the pipeline is perfectly safe. We run lots of inspection tools on it and take care of the pipeline. There's, there's no problems or concerns at all. Um, pipelines will last indefinitely. They're made out of steel, have corrosion protection and lots of other things in place, the coatings and everything else, so there's nothing wrong with the pipeline. It will serve for many, many years still. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Bennett? I would assume that you won't need anything from the county for this. We're out of, we're out of the game. Will this be federally controlled? It, it is federally controlled. It's also, so there's a Army Corps permits, there's TDEC permits, lots of other state permits for water and, and uh, water crossings. Um, muscles, uh, lots of environmental surveys. The biggest thing from the county, and we, we're already in the process of this, but working with the county road engineers because of all the county road crossings. And we do a permit process and work with them on that process. And we have met with them. Anybody else? Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. in support of it at this point, I assume, Mr. Jones. Uh, anybody else? 
Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Glad to have you folks with us tonight. Great presentation. Any other business? Anything else to come before the board? All right, remind you each, each other we do have budget committee. It's going to start relatively quick. The, so if you are leaving, please <laughs> uh, exit. And uh, Mr. Rogers will be starting pretty quick. So thanks. Welcome. Thank you. Here we stand adjourned. <laughs>